Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know I am back. I've been gone for two days, two upload days, but like you haven't seen me since last Friday. <laughs> oh my God. So today, today we are going to be reviewing the, it's the Morphe and Ariel collection. It is a makeup brush collection. So this is the signature look is what it's called. It is a 12 piece makeup set. It's for the face, for the eyes. So I'm gonna have the price put down below cause I don't have it on me right now and I don't have my phone either. It's dead, D-E-E -E dead. So it comes in this beautiful box. So this is what it looks like inside. So you have some face brushes and you have some eye brushes. You have a beauty sponge, the color. <laughs> the color is my jam i love the hair feeling like that's a little ooh, oh that's kind of soft and then we also have the beauty oh that is soft y'all know how i feel about morphe sponges y'all know how i feel this is actually really really soft you get 11 brushes okay cool cool and then you get the sponge so we're gonna be doing a full glam look while also reviewing these brushes and by the way it was 98 dollars. i paid 98 dollars for this <laughs> I will say that Morphe has a tendency to put a lot more care and effort into their collab where their not collab stuff is kind of like, Bleh. you know, it's not so great. It's not the worst, but it's not so great. So for me, I don't mind spending a little bit more on their collabs because they always wind up having better quality, which I think is kind of shitty. Like you would want your own brand to be like really good. But when it comes to Morphe and things that I promote or I hype up, it, it's collabs because they've put so much more effort because it's someone else his name on the line not just morphe's so i like this brush for concealing and cleaning up that sh those sharp lines but the problem is the one that i prefer it's an old one from bare minerals and it's more dome shaped at the top it's round so i don't so much mind that this is flat and a rectangle but it's just kind of like it's just not as easy to get like this curved you know what i mean you can easily mess up and go the wrong way with something straight okay, so this is the a19 and this is for a dual ended concealer brush okay so this can be used for your face too so i'm gonna go in with that brush the other end the bigger end and just see if i can kind of because i usually like to put my primer on with my finger but let's see if this gives us a different vibe Ooh, i do like that the long brush so maybe it can be used for like your under eye too so i need something to set my eyes with what number is this one this is a14 it okay <laughs> yes this is a precision setting brush it is natural hairs i absolutely love that they're just i love the color i love i love everything about these they look very very expensive like they look like time was put into them so i really love that oh my gosh this is so perfect okay i'm obsessed this is so far my favorite brush jamie we've only fucking done two brushes i'm just letting y'all know like ahead of time this is my favorite brush so far so soft and it's just like freaking gliding through my eyes like nothing i love this brush i'm gonna put it off over here because i will probably use it more than one time during this look i'm gonna go over with you the eye brushes that we have here 29 so a29 is a packer brush and it is natural hairs a18 is a smudging brush which you guys knew look at that you could tell it's a smudging brush a20 is a crease blending brush also natural hairs a 11 is a fluffy blending brush with also natural hairs now i will tell you this is one thing that morphe kind of does often they make basically identical brushes to what they already have here's where they change it up they change up the hairs and they change up the body. So the body is always unique to the collab or who, to the person that they're doing it with. However, the, the shape itself, they have this blending brush. They have this crease block brush. They have a smudging brush. They have this very similar packing brush. It's very similar, but the hairs are different. Do you see that? So this is their M503, which is a crease blend, like a crease blending brush. And then this is the crease, crease blending brush 
So they're very similar except for the body and the hairs. So just keep that in mind that if these are a little bit too pricey for you or you don't want to purchase them, always remember with Morphe, they tend to make identical brushes to the ones that they already have. They just remake the body and remake the hairs. So it's very similar. So you're probably gonna get a very similar situation. Now, every once in a while, they'll throw in one that they may not have, but that is one thing I will definitely say I have found with this company is that they tend to do that. So I'm not saying it's shady. A lot of companies do it, but I just think like, you know, charge the same amount. I think you're just paying the upcharge for like the fancy handle and the different hair. So, so I'm gonna go in with Serene Sable and place that in my crease. Oh, there's a lot of fallout. Oh God. Oh God. Oh yes. Wow, that's really purple. I'm gonna go in with A20 and I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm just gonna diffuse that into my crease up here just to get a little, just a little diffused. Oh, that kind of blended that color all the way the fuck out, didn't it? So I was about to say, this is such a pigmented palette. Oh my gosh, there's no patchiness. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, color pop, what the fuck is that? Oh my God. Okay, it's fine. We're gonna work through it. We're gonna work through it. We're gonna put some more color and hopefully we don't have to resort to a different palette. So I'm just blending that purple to my inner corner over here. It's like really not blending from there. And this brush, this blending brush, I wish it was a little more dense. I'm not a fan of that. Like I feel like I'm able to blend more with this brush than I am with that big fluffy one. Do you see what's happening here right now? What the hell? Oh my God. Okay. Yay. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I had to grab a different palette because as you saw, like there was no fixing that. That was not the brushes issue. I've never used those. So they, that, tell me if you have these palettes and did those do that to you? Because I don't know that I've ever had a palette do that to me. All right, so the palette I decided to go into was the Kylie Jordan palette from Kylie Cosmetics because it too has some pretty purples. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my heart. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna go in with my heart, which is this, this purple, which is similar to that purple I was gonna go into until it acted a fool. And I'm just gonna place that color again. Can't believe that shadow did that to me. Hopefully it's the shadow and not the primer or the brushes because that would suck really bad. So I'm just going in the outer corner again and up and then into that little crease. All right, we're gonna try to blend it, y'all. We're going in with the blending, which is A11. Much better. So it kept way more of that color. I just wish they would have had a smaller blending brush and between like the blending and the crease blending. Does that make sense? Like I just wish they would have had a little bit of a smaller, more dense blending brush because I do prefer a more dense blending brush. So I'm just blending that color just slightly over and up. I want most of the color to be here. All right, so I'm going in with the Morphe 513. It's just a more dense blending brush and I feel like it does a lot better when trying to blend out those harsh lines and that fluffy one is just a little too fluffy. I feel like I would use that fluffy one if I was trying to like diffuse the top here, which I've already done. So I'm just trying to get like that, this right here, this dark to just blend out. So now I'm gonna go in with this wife life which is this like nudie color and just kind of mm, yeah i'm gonna use that one and just kind of like go on with the super fluffy brush which is the a11 and just kind of diffuse a little bit of that purple i love this palette this is actually one of my favorite kylie palettes it's not like perfect there were things that i wish that they would have changed about it but it's like not the worst the purples are much better than that dang color pop one i love this fluffy one for this light blending that i'm doing with that nude color it is diffusing that color really, really good. I'm gonna go back into that A14 double-ended concealer brush and back into my P. Louise. And we are going to, we're gonna clean up. I'm gonna like cut like where I'm putting the shimmer and stuff. I'm also gonna go back into this palette to do the shimmers and hope that it doesn't act a fool. You know what I mean? Maybe. It's a little more loose and like, floppy when it comes to like my eyeshadow situation but I don't hate it. I'm gonna go in with this lighter. It's a matte but it's it's hard to explain. 
It is a matte color with a little bit of shimmer, it looks like, but it's got a lot of glitter. Now, you know what? <laughs> color pop. None of that color is coming out on my eye. Do you see that? Here, let me try again. Let me try to get into that. You know how you like a, you gotta knock that first layer of shimmer off. Let's do that. Okay, look at this. That's a lot. You better. Oh my God. This palette is not it. It's not terrible now that I've caked it on that brush, but there is no need for you to have to dig into a palette to get that pigment. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna try to go in with this duochrome color and I'm gonna use a different packing brush just because I prefer a more synthetic packing brush. So this is a MAC brush, I believe. Yes, this is the 239S. Cause that packing brush is a little bit, it's not dense enough. So I'm gonna go right over this and see if I can just add some color to it. Okay, this is garbage. I'm going back into the Jordan palette and I'm gonna do Marry Me right over this because I know that is really, really pigmented and will cover this situation. That is a shimmer. I jot that down, ColourPop. All right, so I'm gonna go back into that super fluffy blending brush they have because I think this is gonna be perfect. I'm gonna go into that My Heart purple color from the Jordan and Kylie palette and really just blend right here where the silver and the purple meet and then just come up here and really give some purple in here because we want it to be bright, but we don't want it to look like we're hoarding off aliens. Like we have aluminum foil on our eyes. So I really do love this fluffy brush for like stuff like this diffusing. And if you use like a little, like a light hand, it just does like a perfect, perfect diffusing and just places the right amount of color. Okay, we're gonna move on to our face because my eyes are starting to really just like get on my nerves. They're, they're being a situation. I am putting on my under eye a primer. So I'm going in with the Pro Conceal by LA Girl and it combats the red. So I like to just put a little bit there. Nothing crazy. Like the reds on my cheeks usually get covered by foundation. But for some reason, sometimes the flare up on my eczema does not like to calm the freak down. Then I'm going to go in with some under eye brightener by Fenty. This is exactly where I feel like this is going to come in clutch, like 100%. Look at that. Like it just is perfect and just big enough and fluffy enough to really give you that light blending. Like you don't want, basically pull too hard is what I'm saying around your eye. And because it's so fluffy, I feel like I can just kind of do it like that and spread it out to my liking. And then obviously blot it out with my finger or a beauty blender. All right, so let's see what face brushes we have before we get into the face. Okay, so the face brushes we have is A21. It is a setting and bronzing brush with natural hair. I do love my setting powder brushes to have this dome effect. My favorite one is actually a Morphe one that does that, and it is this one, which is the Y3. Very similar, again, just a little bit different in the hairs and in the body shape. Then we have A24, which is a foundation brush, and this one is gonna be synthetic. Oh, that feels nice for being synthetic. Look at that. I'm only, I'm a little bit afraid just because it's not very dense at all. A58, which is a cream contour brush. I don't really use cream contour, so we'll have to find a special home for you. And then we have an A3.2. These are really weird numbers. An A3.2 brush, which is a powder contour brush, and this is natural. But as for like a dome one, I don't, he's a makeup artist, dude. I don't, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I'm just a makeup artist on YouTube. So uh, tell me if you use the shape for your, your contour because I, I don't. I would use this for setting or something. I haven't decided, but that's A3.2. And then the last one is A22. And this is a blush brush. Huh. It looks almost like they're hum a humongous version of their highlighter brush, which is the 510, M510. I don't know. I don't know that I would use this for blush. We're going to try it, dude. We're going to try it today. So we're going to see. Like I said, he is the makeup artist. I am not. So... Then there's this guy. So I wet this beauty sponge and 
it is extremely soft like it is extremely soft it was really soft before i even wet it and then we have the this is supposed to be i think a face brush too this is a14 the precision setting brush but i've already used that one and i fucking love it so so i'm gonna go in today with my huda beauty faux filter stick and toasted coconut and give her a couple swirls okay so i did check on his instagram it looks like he did just use this along the setting area so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna just do all brushes then i guess today for this so i'm going in with the a24 which was that foundation brush i'm also going to be mixing my toasted coconut with the liquid faux filter in macchiato because the toasted coconut's too light the macchiato is a little bit too tan so i mix them oh oh okay it's almost giving me like just a very f like photoshopped smooth finish wow and that was only with one dab holy smoke maybe i've been doing this wrong i told you i'm not the professional makeup artist here i'm gonna use a different sponge because that one is it's for sculpting so i don't want to use it outside of what it's supposed to be for and then it not work and then i go oh my god it's so bad so i'm going in with just the lunar beauty beauty sponge right now just to touch up around my nose because the only thing i would say about having such a kind of loose blending brush is that i can't get into like my nose area. I think I'm gonna use this. I think I'm gonna just do it and I'll use the other end for sculpting. We're gonna see what happens. Wow, this is so soft. This is like a pillow. I've never felt a soft Morphe sponge like this in my life two things i'm in love with the a24 and the beauty sponge so now i'm gonna go in with my concealer we're gonna go in with this one for the concealer oh why do i have to love you and why can't there be more singles of you morphe if you're watching this if you could make this into like a single situation so i don't have to buy an entire hundred dollar set for another beauty sponge that would be fantastic all right, so now we're going to set. going to do some setting. But when I did buy that, I also bought this, which is the Dragon Beauty Transformation Face Powder, which when it first ever launched was on a no-buy for me. But I was already on the website, and I was like, oh, I want to just try it. So this is $35. Okay, that's how much I paid for it. And each one of her color correctors are $25. Yes. She just did she collabed with instagram which you know congratulations it's freaking amazing and she did this all three color correctors and the egg for 25 dollars <laughs> i paid 35 dollars for this i wanted to try it and i decided to buy it but i also bought that one so <laughs> there's that <laughs> It was a good deal. I couldn't pass it up. So I think I'm going to go in with the precision one first. And I'm going to go in with the pink, the more pink shade here. Mix with a little bit of the yellow. And I'm going to snatch right in there. Oh my gosh. I love the precision of this brush. Like, look at that. It's perfect. I don't know that I would set my whole face or under eye with that. But it's definitely going to be perfect for that under eye moment because it gets right underneath where you need it to. So this one is definitely my girl. So now I'm going to go with this one, which is a bigger one, just to try it out. It's a little bit more dense, but it, this one is just your normal everyday setting brush. But I'm not able to get in here as well, so I do like... And I'm just mixing these. I do like that he did a more precision one. So you are able to really get in there. This to me is just your normal everyday setting brush. Like it's nice. It's not terrible. But I don't think there's anything really innovative about that one. So now I'm going to go in and really kind of brighten using the yellow on this sculpting. Bro, wow, that picked up powder really well. And just really get in there. Oh my god. Like, I really, really like this powder. I did not think I was going to. I'm not going to lie. There's like not a single drop of fallout on this palette. Kind of in love with this. Not going to lie. Glad I made a second purchase. Okay, so now we're going to go in with bronzer. All right, so I'm going to go in to my bronzer with this cream contour, the A58 situation, simply because I don't use cream contour and I think that this would be really nice for a bronzing situation so that's what I'm gonna use it for it's a little more dense so I can see why it's for cream it's not as blendable but I'm also going to go in with the one that I used for setting because it says it's for setting and bronzer I just don't like the pointy situation but we're gonna try it it's actually not terrible now it says it's 
It's good for blush. Is it? No, no. The cra This crazy one is for blush. I'm going in with ColourPop Out of Sight Pressed Powder Blush. And I'm gonna, I don't like how like flimsy this is. All right. I've been wrong for a lot of them. So it's okay. It just doesn't give me that instant gratification. I feel like when it comes to how I like my blush, I just prefer to have my blush, you know, boom, bam, bam. Like y'all know how I like a little strong. So this one you really have to use to build up. It's going to give you that beautiful flushed moment, but it's going to take me a lot longer to do my blush with this very fluffy one. So I don't know that this is my cup of tea. So I'm using the brush that's for the cream contour to be my highlighting brush. And can I tell you, I actually like this for this. So it's nice and thick, which I also love to put my highlighter on with. And it's also very like flat, if you will, tapered, if you will. So it kind of just like applies so seamlessly. I am a fan. I'm a fan. So now what I want to do, now that we've been here for 30 years, like I know y'all are like, bitch, if you do not finish your makeup, I'm going to fucking punch you out. So I'm going to go in with that smudge brush, which is the A19, A19, A18, that's little. And I'm going to get just a little bit of that My Heart, which is that dark purple. And I'm literally going to just follow the waterline all the way over to here. My favorite brush to really get under there and get like blender ruskied is one like this that tapered crease one because it's just so nice and fluffy all right so i'm gonna go in with that marry me on the smudgy brush and i'm gonna bring it literally down oh gosh she's bright i'm gonna go back in with that crease one and just give it a little vroom vroom right here but it's not as harsh mascara so i'm gonna put my mascara on please understand that i I do put a lot of work into these. I know sometimes these videos can be long, but I really just love to give you guys the best like I can. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to just sit here and go, yeah, 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 buy this, buy this. No, like it's just not who I am. So if you super, super hate talk chatty ones, then just put me on two point. It's like two times the play speed or something. And I'll talk like this. And you can just see the makeup and just see my end results. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But if you love a chatty Kathy and someone who is perfectly imperfect, then go ahead and subscribe because that's who I am. All right, so we're back with my final thoughts of these brushes. I'm sorry this video took so long. I had some issues with the look. I jabbered on a little bit. Let's talk about which ones I like, which ones I don't like. So I think for $98, they're decent brushes, um, but I think that that's mildly expensive for Morphe. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think for a hundred bucks, you could probably go in and specifically pick which one of Morphe's brushes you like more. You can feel them when you're in the store or in Ulta. If you are a fan of Ariel like I am, then it may be something you wanna do. I don't think that the brushes themselves are bad. I just think that they're overpriced because they are a collab with somebody else. Um, um, so both people have to make their money. Does that make sense? Morphe has to make their money. Ariel has to make his money. Now there is more thought, I feel like, that goes into like the bodies and that's cute. I love the look of it. But here's the thing. If I'm paying $100, I should not have to go in to other makeup brushes. And I did. So for this to be the only like blending brush in there, I found that to be an issue because I need more of a dense blending brush when it comes to really diffusing that color out here. This is really nice when you're doing like a final touch or that just light diffusion to make a color shift. But when it comes to actual doing the blending blending, you're going to do way more blending with just one like this than having two. So I wish that there would have been kind of one of these in between. So with that being the case, I'm not really for the eye set, but the problem is you can only get the whole entire set or just the eye set. My favorite part was the face brushes, which sadly you cannot get by themselves. At least I looked online and I couldn't see it. So if at any point you could before maybe it was sold out, comment down below and let me know. But I've only seen either the full set for a hundred and then just the eye set, which I don't, I don't know what price that is. I can put it down below. However, the face ones were my favorite because hear me out face ones. I was able to make these work 
for everything. Um, even if like one didn't work for what the website said, I was able to maneuver another one to kind of work in its place. I was able to do my highlighter with one and none of them were really a highlighter brush. So in, with that being the case, I love the face ones and I wish that that could have been a separate thing. And I think that for $100, you're one paying for the collab. So the name, the person that you're collabing with and two, you're paying for different like decor. So aesthetically, basically that's what you're paying for. Um, if you're looking for just the brushes, then again, like I said, they have identical brushes to these at Morphe and Ulta for like five bucks and you can get them by themselves. You don't have to pay a hundred dollars all at one time for them. So I just, they were okay. Honestly, it's not something that I think you have to go out and buy. Now, if you are a fan of his, like I am, then it may be something that you want to get and collect. You may want to try. You think that they're cute, but when it comes down to, am I recommending them? Jamie, are you recommending them? Yes or no? The answer is no. <laughs> No, I am not. I think they are way too pricey for Morphe brushes and I don't think so. I hate to say that and I really hate to be the person to say that because I really, really look up to him and I really, really think he is such an amazing artist. But some of these brushes are literally just remakes of what they already have and then others are just like, Mm, okay like mm, you know so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed this look I'm sorry that there were so many bumps along the way with the eyeshadow situation and as always guys if you did like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up let me know that you liked it let me know what you're looking for down below are there any looks you're looking for any types of videos you're looking for I want to make content that you guys really enjoy as always guys if you're not already subscribed make sure you do so I do three new videos every week usually. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.